Hello and welcome to another exciting episode on the Tech Blackboard. Today is the second episode of our DP900 series. And in this episode, we will be looking at how to schedule the exam and very importantly, how to earn free Microsoft voucher for DP900. Next, the agenda is to understand the exam timings. This section will give you basic understanding of DP900 examination duration. Finally, we will understand the question format. This is quite important section where you will get to know how many different kind of questions you can expect in DP900 examination. Is that all? No. As a bonus tip, I will also tell you about various types of questions that are not valid in DP900 examination. So you are not wasting your time in those type of questions. Needless to say, do not skip any part of this video so you are not missing any of the important tips. So stay tuned and let's start the learning. Now let's check out how to schedule the exam. This is the link that you need to click to reach to Microsoft DB900 exam site. Guys, as always, all the important links used in this episode will be shared in the video description. Let me first take you through the process on the slides and then I will show you the same process on the real website. Once you open the link, schedule exam page will open. Click on schedule with Pearson VUE. This will open the page on the right where you can see any discount voucher if you may have. The process to get free exam voucher is covered in the next section where I will show you the entire process on live Microsoft site. Now click schedule exam button on the bottom right corner of the page. Choose online at my home or office. Click next. Next you have the option to choose your language. Then choose your proctor language and then select date and time. Once you have taken all these steps, you will get a confirmation mail from Pearson VUE confirmation at the rate pearson.com. You will find your ship to address and you will also find your bill to address. You can see the date of examination is scheduled and it is mentioned here. For me, it was November 2nd, 2021. The interesting part to note is that although the billing rate for this exam is 99 USD, however, for me, the total amount to be paid is $0. And that's the interesting thing that we will see in the next section. To maintain the video under the time limits, I have created a separate video that will take you through the entire process of scheduling the exam as well as getting the free Microsoft exam voucher. This video was recorded on actual Microsoft site so that you don't miss even a single important detail. Using this method, you can get free Microsoft exam voucher not only for DP900 but also for AZ900 and AI900. The exam fees for each of these examination is $99. So you can actually save up to almost $300 using the free Microsoft exam voucher process that I have shown in this video. Coming to the exam duration. The duration of Microsoft DP900 is approx 45 minutes. However, Microsoft recommends you to join 30 minutes earlier so that the room validation, your identity validation, machine setup, all can be done well before the exam starts. This time duration is not only valid for DP900, but also for all other fundamental exams like AZ900 and AI900. As mentioned on the Microsoft site, you should expect anywhere between 40 to 60 questions for any Microsoft examination. You can also see the time duration of different types of examination of Microsoft. The important thing to note is that the passing score for this examination is 700. You can check out more details about exam duration on this link. Then you can also give a sample test on the link provided here. Moving on, understanding scoring. If you want more details on how this scoring is done, then you can check out this link. I will provide all these links in the video description. Types of question. In this section, I will show you how many different type of questions 
do you need to expect in Microsoft TP900? The first style of question is drop down questions. In these kind of questions, you will be given a sentence which you need to complete by choosing an option from a drop down menu. The second type of question is yes and no. You may be given a single statement or multiple statements against which you will be given yes or no and you have to choose either yes or no depending upon the question. The third option is drag and drop. In these kind of questions, you will be given two parts. For example, in this question, you are given data types and answer area. You need to match the correct data type with that of these options given in the answer area. So you would need to select and drag this option and drop them here in these boxes which are marked by data type. The fourth type of question is multiple correct answers. In these kind of questions, you can expect a statement for any of the Microsoft component. Well, in this example, they have given a statement for Microsoft Azure storage account. You need to select multiple answers from this section given below. Each correct answer will be marked for one point. The fifth type of question is choose the best answer. In these kind of questions, you will be given a statement with some possible answers. You have to choose the correct answer from all these options. By the way, do you know the answers for all these questions? Hmm. Yes, no, don't worry. I will cover all these type of questions in our next episode. As promised, now I will tell you the bonus tip, the type of questions which are not valid for DP900. Case studies, especially the bigger case studies are not valid for DP900. Mark review and labs are also not valid for any of the fundamental exams including DP900. If you want more details on type of questions, please hit the link below. Friends, it's very important to know that Microsoft can change types of question at any point of time. So I will strongly recommend you to check out this link before you attempt any examination. In the next episode, we will see the real Microsoft examination question and their answers for DP900. Till we meet again in our next episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please press that bell icon and share this video to as much as you can. Your comments are very valuable, so please do share your comments. Stay fit, keep learning and bye for now.